So here we are at my house. I recently closed actually about two weeks ago and wanted to give people an idea of like what my process was like. Um, do I practice what I preach? What was it like for me and my wife, Megan, when we were out there looking for a home? So there were a few things that I was really, really looking for. One was single family home. Two, in you know, a number of neighborhoods that we were looking at. Three, a wider than average lot size. So if you remember, we did a video on the standard Chicago lot. I wanted something wider than average. Or I was really looking for a house that was brick all the way around. And then we really wanted just some semblance of outdoor space or green space. That's five. So I would say the first thing is, is I kind of wish I had a normal broker where you know they would be on top of me showing me places saying, hey, what about this place? What about we go out this weekend? Kind of managing the whole process. You know, I have a wife, we have just gotten married and I fully underestimated how emotional she was gonna be, how emotional I was gonna be. And when you start looking, it becomes like a major part of your life that kind of consumes a good portion of your time with your significant other. That's all we ended up talking about. And at times it could get stressful. So the way I approached it was kind of sharpshooting. Like there's one place, let's go see that one place, Megan. And then, you know, I'd wait a week before something else would come on the market or even potentially off market that I would like. And I'd be like, Megan, let's go see that play. And I kind of didn't approach it the best way because I do have someone in Megan who needs to see a bunch of stuff, rule it out on her own. But what I was really surprised to find was my own emotions getting involved. So we eventually found this house, we walked in and my wife was like, okay, this is the one. And I'm like, yeah. It is. You know, we start the negotiation process and it was a little difficult not having someone behind me telling me what the correct offering strategy was because this is the house that I had to have. There was, you know, there was no way that I wasn't gonna get it and that is a terrible, terrible bargaining position. We probably paid a little bit more than I would have liked and as we moved into the inspection period and attorney review, it was really difficult for me to, you know, step into an objective place and look at things very rationally because my wife wants to move into this place. She's already looking at furniture. Like I want to move into this place. I can already see myself there. And you know, I was missing that voice kind of telling me, okay, no, this is step A, B, and C. Maybe we should take a step back and let the seller sweat it out. And we didn't do that. And then finally, when you move into a home, especially one that's relatively new, this home is three years old, my expectation was, um, and probably wrongfully so, that there wouldn't be like a ton of like issues. There wouldn't be a lot of handyman work, but you know, the inspector who was here for two or three hours can only catch so much. And I know that, and I tell my clients that, but even my expectation, you know, doing this for a living was a little bit off. I was like angry with the seller for not disclosing A, B, or C, but I know it's like, it's not their responsibility to show me everything. It's my responsibility to go through inspection, attorney review, and find those things on my own and kind of manage that whole portion as well. So what can you take away from like a broker going through the process and what can you learn from this? And I think number one is don't underestimate the value of an objective third party who can kind of coach you through the situation. Number two, I would say is perfection is unrealistic. Um, this is a three-year-old house and it has its own quirks. I always tell my clients at the closing table, I'm like, you're kind of entering into like a new hobby. You have to enjoy home ownership and with home ownership comes handymen and contractors coming through, painters, etc. And then the third thing I would say is even for me who does this, you know, every single day, it's almost impossible to keep emotion out of it. So kind of recognizing that accepting it, kind of enjoying it. You know, it's a little bit of a, a roller coaster. So you'll have your highs, you'll have your lows, expect it and enjoy it.